Can soy cause thyroid problems? Soy is known for many health benefits. Its protein is considered a high quality protein. But some people worry if soy can lead to thyroid problems. What is the correct scientific advice? Let us look at it in this video. In the past it was said that soy can lead to hypothyroidism. The basis for this claim was two of the isoflavones in soy, namely genistein and diazine, can block thyroid peroxidase which is an enzyme needed for making thyroid hormone. However, iodine in our body stops this effect. In the past, people often had iodine deficiency. So it was possible that soy led to hypothyroidism. However, nowadays, the salt we eat is iodized and this does not happen anymore. So, nothing to worry. The reason soy is so important is because most people are deficient in protein intake which might be one of the most common and underlooked nutritional deficiencies. So is one of the few plant-based protein options with a complete essential amino acid profile. But getting soy by eating soya beans directly is not a good idea. Soya beans are quite high in fat content. A bigger problem is soya beans we get in market are GMO or genetically modified. In 1990s, soya bean was genetically modified to become resistant to a herbicide called glyphosate which helped increase the crop yield but many scientists say that this genetic modification is not safe for our long-term use regular soy flour has 35 percent protein defatted soy flour doesn't have fats and has 50 percent protein soy protein concentrate has 70 percent protein and finally soy protein isolate has 90 percent protein so my advice for the best choice would be to buy non-GMO variety of soy protein isolate. Look for a reputed brand. Don't nickel and dime it because in the supplement world, cheaper is not necessarily a better deal. Here are more videos on this topic. Remember, ignorance is a bad idea when it comes to your thyroid health. Thank you.